How's it going Archie Squad? Today I'm going to teach you guys the fastest way to plot any scale drawing onto any paper size using AutoCAD. The scale that I'm using in AutoCAD is 1 unit is 1 millimeter, which means if I make a line with a length value of 1 in AutoCAD, that line will translate to 1 millimeter in real life if I print it with a 1 is to 1 scale. With that in mind, let us begin. So let's say I want to print a few of these furniture plans onto a short bond paper in a 1 is to 50th scale. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta create our 8.5 by 11 inch short bond paper. To do so, we just have to type in REC, which is a shortcut for rectangle, then click on any part of our workspace, type in D, which stands for dimension, which basically allows us to dictate the dimensions of our rectangle. So space bar, type D, space bar, and then type in our length and width, which is 8.5, enter, 11, enter, and boom, we now have our 8.5 by 11 paper. So right now we have to convert this paper from inches to millimeter. So to do so, we just have to scale our paper. So select our rectangle, press SC for scale, then click on one of the edges of our paper. Now we just have to type in 25.4, which is our conversion multiplier to take it from inch to millimeter. So 25.4. And boom, we now have a 1 is to 1 scale short bond paper. So none of our furniture could fit in this paper right now. But don't worry, all you got to do is scale this paper onto any scale you can imagine so that the furniture fits within it. So to do so, let's make a copy of it. Select it, press CO for copy, drag it to the other side. And then we are going to scale it onto our scale. So for this one, we are going to use a scale of 1 is to 50. So just press SC, then key in. 50, press enter, and voila, we now have a 1 is to 50 plot space within a short bond paper size. So what that means is when you print this out, the drawing within the paper is in a scale of 1 is to 50. So let's say you now want to plot something onto an A3 size paper. So what we got to do is we just got to repeat our first steps, which is to create a rectangle with the size of 297 millimeters by 420 millimeters, which are the exact dimensions of an A3 paper in millimeters. So let's make a rectangle, press D, 297, enter, 420, enter, there we go. No need to convert this one since it is already in millimeters. All we got to do now is to scale it to our desired scale value. Let's say 1 is to 100, press enter, and go, go crunch. We now have a 1 is to 100 plot space that is within an A3 sized paper. I'm running out of punchlines, guys. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to make this a 1 is to 38 scale for some weird reason, all you got to do is get our original 1 is to 1 scaled A3 paper, then scale that to 38, and bingo bango bongo, we now have a 1 is to 38 plot scale. Okay, one way to check if it is scaled accurately is to plot it onto a PDF. To do so, just press Ctrl P, and this whole plotting interface is going to pop up. Under the printer or plotter section, just select DWG to PDF or whatever PDF plotter you are using. Then under the paper size, just change it to the size of the paper you created. So for this, we are going to plot our 1 is to 100 A3 paper. When that's done, go under plot scale and make sure to check on fit to paper and select millimeters for the scaling units. Then under plot area, select the window method of plotting. Click on this window tab beside that and trace out the outlines of our paper like so. And now under plot scale beside the units, this number should match the scale of your paper. So for us, we did 1 is to 100 and it says 1 is to 100 right here. So that means our scale is correct. Also make sure that our paper does not have any margins. So to check this, just hover over this diagram and your paper size and printable area should be the same. So one of the uses of this is if you want to print people for your scale models. All you got to do is attach the image of your entourage onto your workspace. Now that we've imported our entourage onto our workspace, we now have to make sure that this guy is a proper scale before we put him onto our scaled paper. So assuming this guy is normal sized, he'll be around 165 centimeters tall or around 1650 millimeters. So all we got to do is we got to make a line that is 1650 millimeters. So this is going to be our actual height line. Once we're done with our actual height line, we now have to create a guideline that goes from the top of the head of our entourage all the way down to his feet, like so. So this is going to be our guideline. Now all we got to do is we got to align our guy to our actual height line. So to do so, just select our guy and our guideline. Press AL for align. Align the top end point of our guideline to our actual height line. Then align the bottom part 
to the bottom part of our actual height line. Press space to enter and then press Y if it asks you to scale objects based on alignment points. That is going to scale our entourage so that he becomes 165 centimeters tall. So press Y, enter and boom! Now our entourage is a proper height for a proper man. Now all we got to do is we just have to move our guy onto our paper that is scaled 1 is to 50. Boom, there you go. There is our guy. Our guy is now on a 1 is to 50th scale paper. So just print that and now you have entourage for your scale model. And that's how it's done. The fastest way to plot drawings with any scale onto any paper size. Now I'm aware that there's a more meticulous method of doing this by using the layout tab. And you can even put multiple drawings with different scales onto a single paper. But for me, this is the method I use when I print out scale drawings. I usually avoid printing drawings with different scales onto a single paper anyways because that can lead to confusion and errors on the job site. So yeah, this is the way I prefer to plot stuff because to me, it feels easier. <laughs> Anyways, that is the video, guys. If you learned something new, don't hesitate to share this video to a friend or a classmate so that he or she could learn something new. And you know what they say about sharing? Is caring. That made no sense. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button to join the Arky Squad. Flying peace! <laughs>